I'm going to show you three single serving desserts that I ate to lose 50 pounds in three months. And I'm making an M&M cookie, a chocolate chip mug cake, and a chocolate chip brownie in a mug. <sighs> I'm making the M&M cookie first and this is what you're gonna need, cutie! One tablespoon of light margarine that's been melted. I'm using the Basel Light, it's my favorite. A tablespoon of M&M baking bits and this is just like the M&M brand in, from the baking aisle. Two tablespoons of Truvia or any sort of brown sugar blend and this is the Truvia brown sugar blend. Two tablespoons of packed brown sugar. We need an eighth teaspoon of vanilla. A teaspoon of room temperature water, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, an eighth teaspoon of baking soda, a pinch of salt, and a tablespoon or eight grams of vanilla protein powder. I'm using Hoodolt or HTLT Sup's vanilla ice cream protein powder, and their protein powder is my favorite because they use like a waste a waisin. They use a case and whey blend, which is really good for baking. It helps it blend better in the recipe and that helps your baked goods taste a lot more moist because normal whey can make them dry. Code Nicole will save you 10%. Got the oven preheated to 350 degrees. I have a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper. This is going to make one very large single serving cookie. I'm gonna start by putting all of the dry ingredients into a small bowl. So we want the baking soda, the flour, the protein powder, and then a pinch of salt. Just a few splinks there. And I'm just gonna stir this all up until it's really well combined. And what I love, like the, these recipes are pretty quick too, which like when you want dessert, like you want dessert like now. So perfect. So that's done. Now I'm going to take a fork and my brown sugar and I'm gonna fork the brown sugar into the margarine until it's mixed up like that. Fork it up, sweetie. <laughs> so once it's all mixed up, I'm going to add in my water and my vanilla and stir that in till it's well combined. And now I wanna fold or stir gently in my dry ingredients until it starts to form a dough. And you can just like use your spoon to kind of blend everything in really well. And then we'll add our baking bits. Okay, so now that it's pretty much all combined, I'm gonna add most of my M&Ms. I'm gonna save a few for the top, just, you know, for je ne sais quoi piece de resistance on top. And then I'm just gonna form a ball to blend all my sweet little M&Ms in there at the same time. And then I'm gonna place it on here and just slightly flatten it down. And then I'm gonna press the rest of my M&Ms on the top to make it look really cute. And this will spread out when it bakes. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for 11 minutes or until the edges are starting to brown and the toothpick pulls out clean. All right, so 11 minutes at 350. Let it cool for five minutes on the tray once you pull it out of the oven before you serve it. And of course it makes one gigantic single serving cookie. And the calories for it are 266 cals, 9.5 grams of fat, 44.5 grams of carbs and eight grams of protein. All right, I'll do a taste test for you. Do a little. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. A little bit gooey, a little bit chewy. <laughs> Love it. Okay. I'll just show them this. Yeah, show them how sweet it is. The friends, amazing. But I'm making this video because any time in the past that I tried to lose weight, I would take away dessert. And all that did would cause me to fail. And I'd just end up eating way more dessert. So I thought, 
What if I try something different? What if I include dessert every day? Maybe that'll help. But at the same time as struggling with my weight, I also struggled with emotional eating. So I wasn't ready to have like desserts or treats in the house because I would just end up eating them. So I thought like, what if I try making single serving desserts? And it worked. It gave me like the best of both worlds because I could enjoy my dessert, but the single serving allowed me to stay in a calorie deficit so I could lose weight because when the serving was done, it was done. And so I wasn't depriving myself, I was loving what I was eating. And when I combined portion control with a portion dessert every night, I didn't just lose 50 pounds in three months. I went on to lose a total of 130 pounds and I've been able to keep it off for eight years because I've never deprived myself or stopped eating dessert ever. And that's why I've been able to do what I do and keep it off for so long. So let's move on to the chocolate chip mug cake. This is what we're gonna need. Okay, I've got a microwave safe dish that I've sprayed really well with cooking spray and that'll be what I put the mug cake in. And then I need some of this. I need two tablespoons of oat flour. All it is is these quick oats from Great Value and I put them in my coffee grinder and I ground them into my own flour. A quarter teaspoon of baking powder. A tablespoon of sweetener. I'm using the Splenda one. 30 grams or a scoop of vanilla protein powder and I'm using the same, the vanilla ice cream from HTLT Subs. I need half a teaspoon of vanilla. Eight tablespoons of milk. I'm using the Fairlife 0% because that's gonna give me lots of extra protein, which I like. And then a tablespoon of mini chocolate chips and I'm using the Hershey's Chip It's for this. And this is going in the microwave so we don't have to preheat the oven. What I'm gonna do in this bowl, I'm just gonna put all the dry ingredients, except for the chocolate chips. And I'm just gonna stir this all together until it's well combined. Now what I wanna do is add my vanilla and then I'm gonna pour the milk in slowly. So just add a little bit at a time until I reach the desired consistency that I want. And I want it to be slightly runny, but still like cake battery. So we'll just go slow. Like so, like so. Looking good, cutie. Looking good. And yeah, we'll add it all in. Beautiful. Okay. She's looking sweet. Okay, once it's all really well combined, I'm gonna stir in most of the chocolate chips. I'm gonna reserve some for the top. So there we go, got it all stirred in. And now I'm going to fold or pour this into my microwave safe bowl. Make sure you get it all. And then I'm just gonna make it fairly level. Um, you do want to have like a very large mug or a medium sized bowl like this because it will rise in the microwave. And then I'm just gonna top the cake with the remaining chocolate chips. And now I'm gonna put this in the microwave and I'm gonna put it in for 30 second intervals until I get to two minutes. That's what my microwave does. Just go 30 second intervals until it looks set and the toothpick pulls clean. Let's go, cutie. Okay, so like I said, it does rise as it cooks, which is why you need a container that's gonna give you a bit of room. After each 30 second interval, I let it sort of rest because see how it did rise, but it goes back in. Now I'll do another 30 and then you would let it settle and that's why you do it for 30 seconds at a time. <laughs> it's fun watching this. Yeah. 
Look at it. See, I would have thought I already got scared it's gonna overflow. Don't spill over, sweetie. Just gotta let it rest. Let it deep poof. Yeah, let it deep poof. Come on, deep poof, honey. Deep poof. See that? Deep poof. <laughs> deep poofing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's done. It took two minutes. I put it immediately in the freezer for about 30 seconds just because it separates from the sides when you do that a lot easier. And it is going to look slightly gooey in the center and that's totally fine. I like my cake like that. So it makes one large mug cake and it's 298 cals, 6.2 grams of fat, 38 grams of carbs and 31 grams of protein. Whoa. And like, you know, if you wanted, you could put some like low cal chocolate sauce or whatever. Um, but it is good just on its own. <laughs> Let's have a sweet little bite. It's kind of like hamburger helper. It's good all by itself. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Want to show them on the inside? Yeah. Mm. Hey, cakey. Yeah, it's gooey like a cutie cake. I want to have a little bite, don't you? Don't burn ya? your mouth now. Well, I'm a Sicilian. I got an iron mouth. <laughs> you ever heard mic drop? Fork drop. Nailed it! Nailed it. Yeah! Ooh! Okay. <laughs> The friends also, if you want to know exact portions and meals that I ate to lose my first 50 pounds, you can buy my weight loss ebook called The First 50. The link's down below and code Nicole will save you 10%. Don't forget to use the code. We see lots of friends buying it and not using the code. Yeah, use the code and it's code Nicole for both, the supplements and the books. So code Nicole, use it cuties. Now, we're gonna move on to the last one, the chocolate chip brownie in a mug, cuties. Get ready. Yeah. Chocolate chip brownie in a mug. You need a microwave safe mug. Sassy loves this. Oh dear. <laughs> Sprayed really well with cooking spray. Then. Oh, I never said I loved that. He loves it. Don't worry. Okay, a tablespoon of light margarine and it's melted. Uh, again, it's the light base cell. A tablespoon of the mini chocolate chips, three tablespoons of 0% fair life milk, half a teaspoon of vanilla, a tablespoon of low cal sweetener, two tablespoons of oat flour, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, pinch of salt. We need a tablespoon of regular unsweetened baking cocoa powder. Um, then we need two teaspoons of the dark cocoa powder and a tablespoon of protein powder, eight grams. I'm using the s'mores, the HTLT stuff s'mores, this stuff, bees knees. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pour all of the dry ingredients into a medium bowl. Get your pinch of salty, splink it all together. Stir it until it's sweet and well combined. Lovely and cocoa-y, honey. And you do, like, um, you could use all the same cocoa powder, but it's not going to give you that brownie, chocolatey brownie um, texture, taste, I mean. So you can use two cocos if you want it real brownie-ish. Yeah, this stuff is, is worth it. Yes. And you, you get that at Walmart, and then the regular cocoa powder you can get anywhere, but that one we got from Costco. All right, this is all really well combined. Now I'm going to pour in my vanilla, the margarine, just get as much in there as you can, then the milk. Stir this all together until it's well combined. Make a lovely batter. Oh wow, it's no brownies. Oh gosh. Okay, now I'm gonna put most of my chocolate chips, save some for the top, of course, and then just stir that in. And then I'm gonna get a spatula and scoop all this batter into my mug. Spray your mug really well. Yes, spray the mug really well. And then I'm just gonna put it all down in there. 
level it out a bit. Let's have to eat that. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Put your chocolate chips on. And then this, 30 second intervals in the microwave for two minutes, just like the mug cake. Let's do it. Okay, so I cooled this in the fridge and I'm just gonna pop it out and put it on a plate. Ooh. Look how sweet that turned out. It looks so cute. Cute like a brownie, cute like a cutie. Brownie, brownie, brownie tonight. <laughs> okay, it makes one mug brownie. It's 279 cals, 12 grams of fat, 39.5 grams of carbs, and 13.5 grams of protein. So let's have ourselves a little piece of room. Wow, see? See you. Oh, yeah. Oh. It, friends, it's chewy and moist and it's fudgy. And it tastes like the greatest brownie on like planet Earth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make them all, like they're so good. Okay, so the friends, if you're struggling to lose weight, you keep taking away desserts, but you're feeling deprived and it's causing you to go off track, you can try making single serving desserts like I did. It really helped me because it allowed me to not feel deprived to enjoy dessert, but it met me where I was at because I couldn't keep dessert in the house. So having something like this, then it was gone, I got the best of both worlds, like I said. You don't have to make weight loss a punishment. You can enjoy what you're doing. You should love it and you should be having fun because if you're not having fun, you're not getting it done. It's very hard to stay on track if you don't like what you're doing. And that's eating dessert is why I've been able to lose the weight, keep it off for as long as I have and do this all the time because I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate Sass and I really appreciate your love and support. Don't forget to check out this bit and this bit for more sustainable, fun weight loss tips. Real friends, real world, losing weight, loving what we're doing, loving life, and just mmm, lust for life, baby. Catch you in the next vid, cutie. Peace. Ah, brew. Wow. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.